Hi, today we're doing the Bruce treadmill test. This test is to monitor the development of the subject's general endurance, um, also known as the VO2 max. This test is suitable for active or sedentary individuals, but not for those who have contraindications. The uh, requirements for this test we need is the treadmill, which is right here, okay. and then we need uh, the heart rate, heart rate monitor and uh, instructor to instruct the person. Awesome. The individual uh, will walk on a treadmill uh, until exhaustion. So every three minutes we're increasing the speed, the grade, and the slope of the, the treadmill as well. Okay, today I'm going to be the participant in this Bruce treadmill test. So I have a heart monitor on and also one across my chest and I'm ready to go. For stage one, we're going 1.7 miles per hour at 10% grade. So we'll be starting at grade one. Are you ready? Ready. We'll be doing this for uh, three minutes, and then after that, we'll be increasing the time, the speed, and the slope. Stage two, you're going 2.5 miles per hour at 12% grade. All right, so we're starting stage two after the first stage, um, after the three minutes have passed. My heart rate is now at 90, it was at 88 rest. Stage three, you're going 3.4 miles per hour at 14% grade. So now we're going to start stage three. He's going to go 3.4 miles per hour at the 14% heart rate or grade. My heart rate is now at 116. Stage four, you're going 4.2 miles per hour at 16% grade. So now we're at stage four, we're gonna go 4.2 miles per hour at 16% grade. Uh, it's been very difficult, the grade is a lot. My heart rate is now 163. Woo! <laughs> stage five, you're going 5.0 miles per hour at 18% grade. So we're on stage 5, he's going to go 5.0 miles per hour at 18% grade. My heart rate is 190. Okay. Stage 6, you're going 5.5 miles per hour at 20% grade. So that's my exhaustion rate. I'm a little bit out of shape. My final count was 192. So I'm trying to close the camera. So I got to stage five on 192, and because I could only make it to stage five, that neglect stage six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm not strong enough to keep going. <laughs>
minus 3.9. Awesome guys, so here's a calculation example. So men, my VO2 max equals 14.8 minus 1.379 times 12, which is my time, I went for 12 minutes, plus 0.045 minus 12 squared, 12 again is my time, minus 0 0.012 times 12 cubed. So we did that math with a calculator because we're not good enough to do it by ourselves. 14.8 minus 16.55 plus 64.94 minus 20.74 so that equals my uh, negative 1.75 sorry about that plus 44.2 which equals my VO2 max is 42.65 so here is a scale you guys can see that we just wrote it out for men from 20 to 29 so very poor is lower than 33 um, poor is 33 to 36.4 fair is 36.5 to 42.4 Good is 42.5 to 46.4, and excellent is above 46. So you see, I got 42.65. I barely made it into that good category, which I'm happy about. Awesome, guys. Well, I know that test looks pretty easy because you're just walking, but let me, let me tell you, it's pretty tough. I'm just coming off a knee injury, so this test is perfect for athletes that want to gauge if they're actually getting in better shape. I know a lot of us run and run and run and don't know if we're actually gaining. So this is a perfect test. I'm going to come back in a month or maybe two after being able to go back to exercise. As I said, I just came off an injury and see if my VO2 max increased. I hope it will. I'm pretty sure it will. And then I'll be able to tell I truly am gaining cardiovascular health. It's kind of a hard thing to see. You don't build muscles like you do if you're weightlifting. So it's a great thing to see that you're actually gaining and getting closer towards your goal. So we'll see you in another month and I'll see if I can do any better than that.